enclosure of a cleft palate. The palate is commonly known as the roof of the mouth. It is divided into two regions, the hard palate and the soft palate. The hard palate is the fixed region at the front, made up of bone. The soft palate is the more mobile region at the back, made up of muscle. The palate separates the cavity of the nose from the cavity of the mouth. Some children are born with a cleft palate. A cleft palate is an opening in the palate. This occurs when the palate has not closed properly during pregnancy. The size and location of the opening in the palate can differ, but at least part of the opening is nearly always located in the soft palate. A cleft palate is also often diagnosed together with a cleft lip, which is when there is an additional opening on one or both sides of the upper lip. This is called a cleft lip and palate. A cleft palate can cause difficulties with feeding, speech, hearing and dental development. Closure of the opening is usually done when a child is between 9 and 15 months old. This surgical procedure can be performed in one or two operations. To close the opening in the palate, three different layers must be closed. One of these layers is the tissue closest to the nose, called the nasal mucosa, which is marked in light blue. An incision is made in the nasal mucosa around the opening. The nasal mucosa is loosened and then it is closed using surgical threads called sutures. A layer of muscle also needs to be closed. This is marked in orange. The muscles attached to the hard palate are released and realigned at the level of the soft palate. This helps to promote normal function of the palate after closure. The third layer is the layer of tissue closest to the mouth, called the oral mucosa. Two side incisions are made to move the oral mucosa towards the centre of the palate, where it is closed using sutures. The two side incisions are often left open and will heal by themselves. The surgical techniques used during this procedure may differ between surgeons. This procedure is also often combined with the placement of a ventilation tube in the eardrum by an ear, nose and throat doctor. These tubes are used to drain out glue-like fluid that can build up in a child's ear in order to improve hearing. After surgery, the opening in the palate will be closed. Fluids and soft foods are recommended for approximately three weeks. The child should not put hard objects such as straws or their hands into their mouth. The child should not be given a pacifier or dummy for a certain period of time after surgery. Please contact your clinical team for the local protocol.